Hey everybody, this is Fragger and Jeff here, and we're here to show you something a little different. Oh, dude, is this suicide? Oh, man, I'm really excited about this. You are? Yeah, I've I uh, have been I've heard about this, and I've been wanting to check it out. This is from the uh, the fan made map Suicide Blitz Two, which was currently Valve's at the time of this recording. Their like play this map type of thing. Like, yeah. They have it in their like their blog, the Left 4 Dead blog. They were like, "Hey, dickhead, you need to play this." Yeah. And uh, the first thing you need to do when you start up on the first chapter is you have to get a gnome to do okay. this amazing Easter egg that we're gonna dance around until we get to the Easter egg. Okay. But um, yeah. Where where would we find Gnome Chomsky here on this map? We are. Uh, that was the elevator you have to go down, and mm -hmm. then I'm gonna show you where to find him. It's pretty much in this uh, r little bit off the beaten path, not too far, but uh, you'll know you're in the right area when you see the um, the Midnight Riders posters on the wall. Okay. Right there. And there's a, I think it's the, uh, the stunt man that they talk about in, uh, like throughout the game too. Is it has a poster up there as well, and I have trouble holding on to him there. Do you mean like reason. the evil Knievel dude from? Yeah, uh, yeah, from what's the that map they, called? I can't remember. It was uh, not Dead Air. Was it Dead Air? The first no, map it wasn't one. Dead Air. Left for yeah. Dead Two. Whatever. But uh, the mall episode. Yes, the mall episode. And then uh, when you get to the, this is the beginning of the final part. You go into that room, and eventually, you're in here. So how did that how did that portal open up? Pretty much, uh, glad like your Gladys says, "Oh, you brought my friend along," and you're like, "Okay," and you place the gnome in a little cubby hole. I this video is very long; I had to cut quite a bit out of it to show how big this map actually is. But uh, there's a lot to do in this. So, dude, this is insane. So you bring the gnome to the third chapter, put him in the uh, wall. It's the fifth. It's the you're pretty much you bring it to the beginning of the finale. Oh, okay, so it's like Gnome Chomsky then. You, yeah, the, that achievement. You make it all the way to the end. And then you pop it in the wall, and suddenly you're in fucking portal. I would thought you would like to see this. That's a little icon for the difficulty thing there. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I really like that with the little stuff. Yeah, and then yeah, you get yeah. uh, you get one like real real portal puzzle, and there's actually a total of three puzzles. Uh huh. Um, I wanted to skip ahead to show you what I thought was really really well done here. This little okay. bit, because uh, I'm like, oh, what what do I do now? And you see constantly the subtitles say "distant jet engine." I don't know why. But uh, you have to navigate this ball through these lasers. See, I'm rolling it around. This, this is amazing, dude. This is really it's, cool. And it's a fan-made map, too. So so can you? do you know if this is available for uh, Left 4 Dead on the Mac? Uh, it's, it's the same thing as the PC. Okay, cool. So Excellent. as long as you have the uh, the computer version of it, you are uh, fine. And you can get right. it. So there we go. We just finished up that one. Look, some companion cubes there. Hooray. Dude, but, uh, this there is are so some... well done. Uh, yeah, there are some seriously talented people that are not us out there in the world. Yeah. And then this Good one Lord. was a really interesting one. You actually have to, it plays the sound cue from each of the um, special infected. Okay. And you have to click, you have to use the picture of the one you heard. Oh, okay. So it took a, it took me an uh, unfortunate amount of time to figure it out, but I eventually got it. And so it's, it's very, random too, so I can't show you how to do it either. Very puzzler-ish. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, uh, the first time I did this, I kind of ran straight ahead and fell into that water and died, which really sucked because you ha you actually have to do the whole thing over again. So don't but fall into that pit. The whole thing being starting from the very beginning of the game. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, because you start at it restarts the uh, at the beginning of the chapter. Was that mustache? Without the jump, with yeah, it was. That's without awesome. Noam Chomsky. This is like the ultimate fan service mod. This is really really cool it's really well done and the thing is like these parts here are incredibly awesome very well done the only thing that does kind of i'd say it's not their fault but it's just because of the fact it's the fan stuff there's no like new dialogue it's all reused stuff yeah well that's yeah, that you, you get that anyways that was gonna happen but uh, i don't really want to spoil what ends up happening because the ending is actually really awesome oh yeah so uh i'm i'm having trouble with the ai here like come on guys Come in here. There you go. <laughs> Step to the fucking portal. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Do it. Guess. But, uh, yeah, we're going to end it here with a little ominous bit of a cake surrounded by pill bottles. <laughs> that can never be good. That cannot be good. No, I guess you so have to play to figure it out. You have to play to figure out what happens, but I really recommend it. It was a lot of fun. Um, it, it's a little long, but it's a lot of fun. It's the perfect merger of two amazing worlds. Now we just have to see the opposite happen in Portal 2. There you go. Get to it.